Hi, today I'll be talking you through how to paint over gloss skirting. When painting, gloss paint is the most common choice for skirting boards and other woodwork around the home. However, gloss paint can go yellow over time, which means a fresh coat of paint might be just what you need. The short version of this is that if you want to get stuck in and paint over your existing gloss skirting, be sure to do a thorough clean and sand over the surface of your skirting boards. If done properly, you'll have no problem adding a layer or two of fresh paint after you're done. If you're here for a more detailed guide on how to go about that, then stick around and we'll break down each step of the process in more detail. Whether you're using a satin paint or a gloss paint, this guide will work for you. You'll find that the most important aspect of painting over gloss skirting is the preparation. Follow these steps closely and a professional finish will be much easier to achieve when repainting your skirting boards. Step 1. Clean the surface of the skirting board. A basic damp cloth or rag will do the job here and you'll want to use it to get into all the grooves and detail on the skirting board for a thorough clean. Any dirt and grime is what you're looking to remove here. If the skirting is within a kitchen area you may also come across grease which is tougher to remove so take extra care in these areas. If you do have some particularly stubborn stains it may be better to also use a bit of sugar soap if needed as this will really help to break down the residue making it much easier to clean away. Once you're satisfied that the skirting is clean, allow it time to completely dry before moving on. Step 2. Sand the surface. Now that your skirting board is looking squeaky clean, the new gloss paint needs a bit of extra work so it has the perfect surface to adhere to. For this, you don't need to try and strip back layers upon layers of old paint here. All you're aiming for now is to take off the very top layer of paint. In doing this, you'll leave a smooth and uniform surface to apply your new gloss paint to. Sanding can also help remove any of the very stubborn dirt that simple cleaning wouldn't shift alone. We recommend using a 120 grit sandpaper. This will be strong enough to sand away a layer of paint without it leaving any deep marks on the surface. When sanding down a corner or an edge, take things a little easier. The paint will come off these sections much quicker and you may end up exposing the wood underneath if you go too hard on this. Step 3. Clean the skirtings again. After you've sanded down your skirting boards, you'll notice that you'll have created a fair amount of dust. Same as before, a simple damp cloth or a rag will do the trick to remove this. At this point, you can then vacuum the dust from the carpet or floor as well, as you won't be making much more dust from this point on. Removing as much of the dust and dirt as you can at this stage will reduce the chances of anything unwanted getting stuck to the gloss when you start painting, which can affect the final finish. This stage may take a bit of extra time and may feel like it's taking too long, but we would recommend doing this cleaning as it will pay off when it comes to having a professional looking end result. Step 4. Masking Tape this is another vital step where you'll need to spend a little more time in order to get the best results. Using masking tape, you can mask off the area above and below the skirting board. This will normally just be the wall and the flooring or carpet to ensure that the fresh gloss doesn't go anywhere other than the skirting board you're working on. Doing this properly will also leave you with nice sharp lines around the edges of the skirting. Step 5. Paint the skirting. With all of the time and effort you've put into the previous steps, applying a new coat of gloss at this point should be a breeze. As you're painting the skirting board, apply paint to the brush sparingly as you're only covering a small surface area here. This will also help prevent the paint from running and pooling up. Horizontal strokes are best used in this scenario and if you see any drips or runs in the paint forming, you can quickly brush them out as you go along. We would recommend a couple of coats of gloss for good coverage and longevity of the finish. With this being a gloss paint you will have to wait longer between the coats for the first layer of paint to completely dry before moving on. However, if you are using a water-based paint you may find that the section you started on is dry once you've completed the first coat in the room. If this is the case you can repeat the process straight away which obviously makes the choice of water-based paint the quicker option to complete. And there we have it. With these steps, you'll have cleaned and painted your way to a perfect gloss finish on your skirting boards. All that's left to do now is sit back and admire your handiwork. Hopefully this video has been informative and it's given you all the advice you need. Until next time, this has been Skirting World.